This morning, Kent County leaders are setting the record straight, denying sanctuary status claims made by a nonprofit group. The Center for Immigration Studies is based in Washington, D.C., described as a nonpartisan pro-immigrant organization. The group named Kent County a sanctuary county in 2019. That status has come back into focus since investigators found the man who killed 25-year-old Ruby Garcia has been in the country illegally since at least 2020. According According to the Center for Immigration Studies website, a sanctuary county means local leaders obstruct immigration enforcement and shield criminals from ICE. In a letter to the center, Sheriff Michelle LaJoy Young and Administrator Al Vanderberg say that is not true in Kent County. They say while the sheriff's office has not had a formal agreement with ICE since 2019, Kent County has never been a sanctuary county. LaJoy Young says her office consistently works with ICE, allowing their officers to investigate people of interest in the Kent County Jail. The letter concludes, quote, the data clearly demonstrates the KCSO's commitment to working collaboratively with ICE on all detainers or notice of intent request to ensure public safety, due process, and the rule of law for all, end quote. LaJoy Young and Vanderburg then asked the Center for Immigration to remove Kent County from their list. The Kent County Commission Caucus of Republicans also demanded the county be removed from the sanctuary list. They wrote a separate letter saying in part they support the sheriff's commitment to preserving law and order and welcome those who legally immigrate to the United States. This is not coming without pushback. Democratic Commissioner Ivan Diaz posted an on Twitter saying he is deeply disappointed but not surprised by his colleagues stance. Diaz says quote at the beginning of every meeting the same commissioners who read from the Bible to profess their faith choose to paint immigrants as some kind of threat. Doesn't Luke 10 27 say we must love our neighbors as we do ourselves. The Center for Immigration has not responded publicly to demands to remove Kent County from their list. We will update you on air and online as we learn more.